What's up YouTube? Alright, I'm going to be here to review Lane Before Time 2, The Great Valley Adventure. I reviewed the Lane Before Time, I think the first one back in 2013, I'll check. Yes, I reviewed it quite a bit ago, back in 2013, August 31st, 2013, so not ob obviously not exactly 8 years ago, it's still considered 7, but it will be 8 when August 31st rolls around and it's been a while. Yeah, and I just uh, watched the second one again, and I thought about reviewing it actually because I really enjoyed this franchise. Okay, but let me give you a little history first. So I grew up on this series. I grew up on watching Disney movies and the Land Before Time series because my mom bought them for me on VHS when I was a kid. She bought me the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one. Never owned the fifth one, but I owned the sixth one. I rented the seventh one. I watched the eighth one and the ninth one and the tenth. And I watched the 11th later, the 12th, the 13th, the 14th. There's 14 of them right now. Excuse me. I, I believe that there is plans to make a, a 15th and a 16th. To be honest, keeping that series going would be a good idea. And I rented those movies I grew up on. I grew up on The Land Before Time. I watched the series. I would rent them from movie the mo video stores when I saw that a new one did come out. Um, or just I, I I think I did own the ninth, but the Invasion of the Tiny Sources I never got around to watching until I saw it on Netflix. I think it was back in 2011 or even later. <sighs> All right, now let's check. Alright, so this one came out, the first, hold on, alright, so the first Land Before Time, I'm actually a pretty good typer sometimes, the first Land Before Time came out in 1988, um, and it had all, all, all the cast, you know, um, it came out in 1988. The Land Before Time 2, The Great Valley Adventure, came out in... Um... Trying to find... It. it came out in 1994, so... Hold on. Yeah, six years um, after the first one. To be honest, um, the first two are actually the saddest, if you ask me, but they're really good. It's a good series to grow up with. My family would watch it with me, and that, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to talk about this one. My brother, my brother was asking if I was watching that, and I said, yeah. I found it on my TV being able to watch on this one website where you watch ads for it. So, <clears throat> let's go see. So, we start off with Littlefoot, Sarah, Ducky, Petrie, and Spike all having fun. And then they were singing a song called Peaceful Valley, which was probably one of my favorite songs of the whole series. It's like... I don't want to play a song because I don't want to get copyright notices for it, but it's like one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard, and I used to love it as a kid and still do. And usually, um, um, my sister criticized me for watching The Land Before Time, but to be honest, you're never too old for cartoons, and this brings back a lot of memories. Alright, so they're all having a good time hanging around. And then Littlefoot gets called back home by his grandfather, who, who is played by the voice actor Kenneth Mars. I think. Yes, Kenneth Mars, who was the voice of... <clears throat> Hold on. King Triton and the Little Mermaid, and then the Little Mermaid 2. 
He was also in Kingdom Hearts. So he was in some of these, but then he passed away in 2011. Actually, the best year of my life was the year he passed away. But let's, well, I'll get to that later. You know, so... <clears throat> he gets called back home. Excuse me. And then that song continues, and then they went out to... And then he ha had breakfast, and then he wanted to learn how to... Littlefoot wanted to learn what his grandpa taught him to step on a tree with his foot and be able to bend it down so he could eat a tree star, which is what they call the, I think, maple leaf, is what grows up in my, in my neighbor's backyard, excuse me, or oak trees, but he would call them tree stars and he would eat them, that's what they ate, um, And then, <clears throat> and then they want to go play a game called Sharp Tooth Attacks. If you don't know what Sharp Tooth is in in this gen, in this on in the real world, they're called um, Tyrannosaurus Rexes. And like, I don't know all the names of all those uh, dinosaurs. I'll, I'll have to look them up later, but I know Littlefoot's a Prontosaurus, which they call a long neck, and then there's Sarah the Three Horn. They call Ducky the Swimmer, Spike the Spike Tail, and Petrie the Flyer, which is a pterodactyl, but I'll get to that later. So, <clears throat> they wanted to go play Sharp Teeth Attack. Sarah wasn't up for it, and, um, but then they decided Spike could be the, the, um, the Sharp Tooth, and then they went to the sinking sand, but Petrie could fly across. Ducky can't swim in it, but then Sarah thought she could jump from rock to rock like her dad. So she does it, and then slips in, and then they all try to save him. And then the parents come in to, to save them, and then they were all disappointed in them because they knew better than to go over there. And then they were all getting lectures a little bit, and then... <clears throat> They snuck out of bed later after being grounded or being banned, and then they were chasing egg nappers in, from the Great Valley into the mysterious beyond. And then they got, and then they ran because they were staking, taking Ducky's egg, and then they picked up another egg because they thought that the avalanche or the the rocks had smashed the egg. The egg nappers, um. Ozzy and Strut had dropped the egg and then Ducky realized it was back and that they had taken the wrong egg. Littlefoot tried to go back to sleep and then they woke him up and said, wake up sleepyhead. And told, it, and told him that the great circle was shining, which is the sun in our land. And then he went, Aww. and then they, they were thinking about the egg and then it started to hatch. And then they saw it was a sharp tooth, so um, Littlefoot started to take care of him, and it would be like he would be the dad, and then it was like the other ones were the aunts, like aunts and uncles. Petrie would be the uncle, Spike would be the uncle, um, the aunts would be Ducky and Sarah. So they all started singing, and then he accidentally bit, bit. Um, Sarah's tail. Not intentionally, he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, and then, and then they told her, they told Chomper sharp teeth weren't allowed in the valley, and then he got hurt by that, and then, and then ran off, because he was really sad and heartbroken by that, and then, and then they tried to save him from going near the volcano, but they called it the Smoking Mountain, and then called called the center the gurgling pit or something and then he came back down I think and then it started to, then there were volcanoes going at the volcano was going off Littlefoot knocked over a tree to get them across the tree and then sharp teeth aka Tyrannosaurus Rex go into the Great Valley and and then they chased the kids and then the Longnecks, aka a Prontosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, 
uh, fend off the Tyrannosaurus Rex alongside a three horn, aka a Triceratops, and pterodactyls come to the rescue, and then they start running off, and then they were cheering and whooping that that the um that the Tyrannosaurus Rex, aka Sharp Teeth, were fended off. And then Chomper actually ran back into the woods, and then Littlefoot went looking for him and fell into a log. And, um, the sharp teeth, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex growled at Littlefoot with a mouth and everything, and then Chomper growled back with his mouth open, and then they realized they were going down to him and started licking him, but Littlefoot said, don't, at first. <clears throat> but then he realized that they were his mom and dad. So then they found out how the sharp teeth got in was because the the rocks weren't there anymore. <clears throat> and then they uh, were gonna fill it back up, and then Chomper, and then he was gonna tell Chomper to um, that that he had to leave. And then Chomper didn't want to leave because he wanted to stay with Littlefoot, but. But he said, I can't take care of you anymore, Chomper. I'm just a kid. And he started crying. To be honest, the sound Chomper makes is really, really sad when he doesn't want to leave. It just sounded like, it sounded like I don't want to go because he wanted to stay with Littlefoot because Littlefoot was his friend. That, that part always gets me into tears. I think the first two, if you get my meaning, are really sad because in the first one, Littlefoot's mom died that part always makes me cry I'm not gonna lie and then the second one Chomper doesn't want to leave because he's formed a special bond with Littlefoot but Littlefoot couldn't take care of him it, because he was just a little kid so he didn't know what it was like to raise a kid okay to be honest um there is something I wanted to say um This part's always emotional. I'm not sure if I would cry during watching this, but it's much harder to cry. It's hard not to cry when you watch the first one. And I found a website where I could watch them for free on my TV. It was Taburi or something. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they let you watch watch the episodes for, they let you watch movies for free with ads. And um, there's no fee in it, but you can't save your progress unless you actually have the website. And then they let you watch them for free while watching ads. This is the sound Chomper made when he didn't want to go with his mom and dad. Here it comes. Right here he was going to get him to go. But this, this is always a sad scene. This part. That's Chomper... Chomper, um, just basically saying he doesn't want to go with his mom and dad and leave Littlefoot. I can't take care of you anymore, Chomper. I'm, I'm just a kid. I know, I miss you too. But maybe we'll meet again someday. Go on now, hurry. Goodbye, Chomper. Goodbye, Chomper. Then they all say goodbye. Um, there's only, I only have a problem with one of the characters, and that's Sarah. Even though I like her, I think that she's a little too judgmental. And she called Littlefoot's mom stupid. And that part really, in the first movie, that part infuriated me. Because if it hadn't been for Littlefoot's mom, Sarah would have, she would have died. And that part always pissed me off. I don't know. It's just... I think Sarah's a little too judgmental and kind of bully-ish and kind of full of herself. Who well, thinks that she can do everything grown-ups can. I think she's a little full of herself, if you ask me. Um, she's a good character, but she is but she is a little bit full of herself. Um, if I have to be honest, I give this movie a solid rating. It's not my favorite, but it is one of my favorites. My favorite is the fourth one, the, land, the Journey Through the Mists, which I plan on reviewing in the future. And um, then The Time of the Great Giving is probably my second favorite because they're, cause they don't make me cry emotionally. But this one and the first one are still very good. And I haven't I, I've, only, I've only reviewed the first one. But I'm gonna tell you about the cast also, because I know some of it. 
Um, I know some of them. This is called The Land Before Time 2, The Great Valley Adventure. And yes, there was an adventure through it with like Chomper and like Egg Nappers. Yeah, the Egg Nappers. They're, they're the main bad guys in this movie, but they're more recurring characters. Like they come in and out because one wants to take eggs and eat them and everything. It sounds like British and Australian actors, but they were actually voiced by some of the main characters actors. There's also um, Scott McAfee, who voiced Littlefoot in this one, who is actually my favorite voice actor who played Littlefoot, but he retired in 2005. His sister, Andy McAfee, um, has played Sarah um, in, in the fifth movie, the sixth movie. And she did it in the 7th, 8th, 9th, I think, yes, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. And, um, Andy, uh, Scott McAfee, I, I used to think his last name was McAfee until I found out it was McAfee. I've seen it, he, he was only in 2, 3, and 4. And I'm gonna, um, do this part, um. He was only in the 2, 3, and 4, and Candace Hudson played, played, um, voice Sarah, and Heather Hogan played Ducky. She had to take over for Judith Barcy. Ooh, I made a video where I was really steamed about that subject. <sighs> sorry, sorry. It's something that has to be said. Judith Marcy was killed by her own father, and her father was a mental... Was, a, was abused by his father, but then he turned abusive towards his daughter, which he really shouldn't have, because his daughter was a sweetheart. And she was last seen riding her bike. Her dad shot her and shot his wife, and then s spent two days walking around the house, and then burned his house or set himself on fire or did something I don't remember how that ended apparently but <sighs> I wish they could have just called the police and got him locked up and stayed away from him and then he probably would have gone to jail and then Jeff Bennett played Petrie who he's he he's been he's been He's been in the Land Before Time movies also, um, for most of them. And then there was Rob Paulson who voices Spike. He voiced one of the, he voiced Chomper also, and Strut, the, um, Egg Napper. While the other one, Ozzy, was voiced by Jeff Bennett who voiced Petrie as well. There was Rob, yeah, Rob Paulson voiced. Then there was Kenneth Mars, Linda G Gary, who voiced Littlefoot's mom who died at in 1995 and then Teresa McNeil who voiced Petrie's mother Ducky's mother and someone else and then there's John Engel excuse me Sarah's father and the narrator who also passed away back in 2012 <clears throat> um Alright, I'm gonna try to figure this part out. Yeah, so <clears throat> they all have different names than what they're originally named. <clears throat> um I'm trying to find out what the dinosaurs' names were. I can't pronounce this word. I'm gonna be honest. This is the one Ducky. Ducky the Swimmer. Because I'm trying to find out their original names. So I could maybe pronounce them in the future. This one I don't know how to pronounce. Parasaurolophus. Para... Parasaurolophus. 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 
I'll just have to type that in because I can't pronounce that. That's really hard. That's not an easy word to pronounce, I'm going to be honest. Sorry, I make my reviews pretty long, um, longer than most other people do, but I've seen 40 minute reviews, but yeah, one time I made a movie that was an hour long review. Um, Littlefoot is originally called a long neck, but I think he's called a brontosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. A parasaurolus, this is what Decky is, I think I got it that time. Sarah is referred to as a three horn, which is a triceratops. Ducky is a parasaurolysis. Petrie is a pterodactyl. And Spike is a, um. This one doesn't say. They call him Spike the Spike Tail. Trying to find out the dinosaur type. A green stegosaurus. Alright, that's what they are. And I just wanted to say, check out all the Land Before Time movies. There's like 14 of them. I think I've seen all 14 of them, but I haven't seen them in a long time and I grew up with them. I grew up on the Land Before Time. Like, I grew up without cable TV, but I got into more TV shows, but I just wanted to watch this one. I have I had The Land Before Time as a kid. I had the first one, the second one, the third one. And then one time I was, and the fourth one, and I don't think I ever had the fifth, but I had the sixth, and I think that was about it. But I had like five, five of the movies. And I just wanted to say, stay up to date, subscribe. Sorry for the lack of videos, but I'm actually about to quit my job at McDonald's, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing on my spare time, because, you know, um, but I'm going to make a video about that in the future, and I just wanted to say stay tuned for some more videos. I plan on posting another video tomorrow, which is going to be about my dog Lady, who died last year in October, because tomorrow is would be her her 11th birthday if we hadn't killed her if we hadn't had her killed off last year um if you were wondering why I was having a hard time talking about that it's because I was sitting on my bed filming out of my phone with me bawling my eyes out because my dog died and trust me that's never an easy thing because dogs aren't just dogs they're also family and people who lack to know that lack knowledge I just wanted to say stay up to date and subscribe. I will actually, I have some old videos to post that I do want to post, but this, but uh, I'm, I, I plan on reviewing more of the Land Before Time movies, and stay up to date and subscribe. Peace out.